Welcome to New Review. Today we'll be taking a look at Transformers Dark of the Moon HD for the iPad. With the upcoming movie release, it's of no surprise to see this game released for the iPad. In this dual joystick shooter, you'll play as both Optimus Prime and Bumblebee. You don't get to choose to play as one or the other, however. You'll start off as Optimus and will be forced to automatically switch back and forth between characters depending on the level. As is expected, you can transform into vehicle form with the tap of a button. There will be points through the levels where you'll need to transform in order to reach certain spots. The game has 13 levels with 5 boss battles throughout the game. You can arm yourself with 2 of the 13 upgradable weapons, and will get to change them at the beginning of levels and at checkpoints. Most of the weapons start off locked and need to be purchased using the cubed orbs you collect during the game. These orbs are also used to upgrade weapons and your character. There are 3 difficulties to choose from, and even on the easiest, you'll find it difficult at times when you're surrounded and being bombarded by multiple enemies. Controlling your character is a mixed bag. There's only a single control scheme and the left joystick can't be moved, so if you accidentally adjust the position of your thumb during play, you're likely going to end up interrupting movement. Also, the right joystick which is used to fire your weapon when held in any direction will automatically fire, so if you have a slow fire rate weapon, you're going to have to waste shots while you try to properly target an enemy, and as a result take hits while you wait for the next round to fire. Driving has the same clunky steering as walking and will frustrate you at times. You'll sometimes have to drive blindly and won't be able to see more than 10 feet in front of you because of the camera, making it unfairly difficult. Overall, the game feels somewhat rushed and thrown together. With games that we've already seen on the iPad like Nova 2 and Dead Space, EA could have put together a better game visually, at least somewhat closer to the console version of the game. With that said, it's not the worst game in the world. Many will still find it enjoyable, especially the top-down shooter fans out there. Check out our other videos, and as always, please subscribe to keep up with the latest reviews.